All right, so this tree right here that I'm about to drill was the tree that I dropped in my uh, mushroom log making in the North Country video. So we didn't just drop the log and forget about what happened in the woods. We're out here inoculating the log too. And I'm gonna do shiitake and oysters. I'm getting so excited about it, I'm about to order some different types of spawn as well. Get some chicken of the woods going, or my talkie, lion's mane. Going shroom crazy over here, guys. Gonna put some on the top too. We wanna get that totem effect. Beautiful grain in there. And that's what's awesome about doing stuff like this is we get so much energy from these trees for uh, our heat source and for our projects and stuff. And then we get even more when we do stuff like this and we leave a little stump and get them plugged up with spawn as well. So we still have a beautiful woods out here and uh, we try and clear out, or I try and clear out the um, the adolescent trees that are near bigger trees practice some forestry so we can get some big old trees and uh, here this is my maple grove so I don't really want oaks in here um, right over that berm I have my big oak area so it's kind of a good point to make we're not just simply trying to just not cut down trees we're trying to design our forest to be able to grow really old and practice some forestry or practice some permaculture and also make a food forest but we get so wrapped up in words in these modern times a lot and you know what it's really not about what you call it or what's in a name it's just simply about doing it um, that's the most important part get away from the ideal ideology and get into the practice of it see what is purely ideal ideological and find out what's practical so we gotta get in situations like these to test out the ideology and uh if I can't practice stuff, it's not my ideal anymore. So we got to practice critical thinking and uh, what better place to start with critical thinking than our own thinking and our own ideology. Yeah, buddy. So when you're out here doing work like this, and uh, keeping your body busy, the mind and the spirit starts running too. And uh, I'm a philosopher. I like to wax philosophical. So it's just a great privilege to be able to farm and live this way. We gotta keep at it and sometimes when things aren't working out well and a lot of stuff comes up, we gotta do work on the house or the tractor breaks and all these myriad of problems come up. You always just need to think of why we do it. We don't do it just to do it. We do it to uh, have skin in the game. 
of our own lifestyle to be self-reliant and uh, you live the best life when you live this way which is hard for some people to accept but uh, it's not for everyone that's for sure different strokes for different folks All right, guys, well, there it is. Uh, inoculating the logs that I felled to make mushroom logs with more mushrooms out here in the woods. We got that hydra head, baby. We are uh, multiplying our power out here. Yep, this is what I call the will to shroom. <laughs> Thanks for watching.